All right, everyone. Today I'm going to be making yet another simple cake. I'm going to do a numbered cake. I'm doing number two as it's actually by request today. Really, really simple to do. It's just a matter of all this is is a round sponge and a rectangle sponge that you can buy at any shop. And then it's just cut out to shape. All I've done is cut the base off the round one and then put a little hollow out and then just follow it through to shape it like a number two. If you need assistance with cutting out numbers, honestly, Google is your best friend. You will find the best images on there that show you very easily how to cut this cake out. Now, today I'm going to be doing it blue. Um, I'm just going to spoon that on over the top. Flatten it out with a knife. Now, same as all our other cakes. All I'm going to do is push it right out to the edges and then just run along the bottom. Smooth it off. This is all we've got to do over the entire cake. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then I will be back very soon with further instructions. Okay, now as you can see that's all covered. Maybe a little bit. Doesn't look perfect. But that is just fine. What we're going to do now is go around the very bottom and just scrape off any of that real thick excess because it tends to slide down a little bit more as you coat in the top and just do that around the whole of the cake if you happen to get crumbs caught up in your where you've cut it if you happen to get crumbs caught up in the icing don't panic, it's no drama. All you need to do is try and just either scrape out the little bit where the crumbs have gone into it and just wipe it off on the side of the bowl or just put a little bit more icing on top of it. Just go over the top of it. It is just a cake crumb, it's not there to hurt anybody. Okay, now I'm just... Remove any scrapey bits. I'm just going to go around the edge of this with a paper towel, just where I've removed the excess bits. I'm going to pipe around the bottom of it anyway. Although, in saying that, if you don't, if you're not comfortable with piping, you don't have to. It does actually look very good like this. inside of that too there. Okay. Now she's looking all just get all that icing off my hands. Missed the spot. Just in. 
there. Easy. All right. Yeah. Okay, it's all covered. Now all I'm going to do is put a bit of my icing mix into a piping bag. Okay, my piping bag's all ready to go now. So we're just going to do a really quick, really fine pipe. My tray's a little actually too small, but you make do with what you have. Now we're going to go the whole way around the outside of this too. Well, as best we can with my little tray that I've got happening here. And you just have to be just a little bit careful when going on the inside of the two as to not bump the other edges. And voila! Now what I'm going to do with this also, I'm just going to do a little pipe around the top edge of this one. Very quick. Nothing fancy, just do little wiggle wiggles. Now there are so many ways you can do these number cakes. It's, it's up to you how you do them. I will obviously over time show you different versions as well. But that's it, she's fully piped. Now all I'm going to do... Here I have some coloured sprinkles. There's orange, green and blue. Now these actually do come in these little shaker satchels, which is really good. You know, you just snip the top and shake them on. But this particular instance, I just wanted to blend the um, orange and the blue one. Now all I'm going to do is in between where I've popped I'm going to place sprinkles and popping around the top also holds these little helps hold these little sprinkles in anyway if they fall out over onto the platter it doesn't matter all filled in. And that is our very quick, very easy number two cake. Happy baking everybody!